Then you see, I can't understand what's happened to Hector. He was supposed to come in here the first thing this morning. Well, stop your dad there and fussing about it. He'll be in here before we get this uh, dad there and airplane finished. Yes, but if we're going to teach him how to fly, we got to start pretty darn quick. Past 10 o'clock now, and he's got to go up in the air and do a stunt or two. Uh, what kind of stunt you reckon he'll have to do? Oh, I don't know. Fly upside down, maybe. And that's darn dangerous. Uh, why? Because you lose all the uh, loose change out of his pockets? No, you darn fool. Because all the blood will rush to his head when he's upside down. Yeah, well, uh, then why don't all the blood rush to his feet uh, when he's right side up? Because, um, because there ain't so much empty space in his feet. Oh, uh, Hector will get along all right. Oh, hope so. There, that finish, finishes that all right. Now, uh, what to do next? I'm well, just checking it. I look in the book. Oh, it says, uh, to one end of the frame, fashion canvas, or a heavy white duck. Hold and... on. Uh, uh, do we got to fasten a uh, duck to it? Certainly. That's what the book says. A heavy white duck. But uh, what in tarnation you need a duck on an airplane for? Oh, now we have used your head for one. The duck flies and pulls the airplane through the air. You darn fools know that. Ah, oh, shucks. The fellow that writ that book's crazy. Crazy nothing. Let me tell you something. The fellow that writ this book knows how to fly. Says so right here in the cover. Says, uh, says he's the foremost fly expert in the world. Yeah, well, just the same. He's crazy if he thinks one duck can pull this airplane through the air. Well, then we'll get a couple of ducks. Put your darn crabbing. Let's get the concern thing built. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. I asked you what you want me to do next, didn't I? What's the book say? It says, uh, be sure the duck is taught. Be sure it's what? Taught. Taught to do, to do what? Taught to fly. Wouldn't do no good to hit the duck in there plane if couldn't fly. Well, uh, you can learn to fly at yourself. Dad, burn it. I ain't gonna be messing around with no duck. And that's all there is to it. Oh, yes, but now listen, Ed. You, you heard me. That's all there is to it. Oh, yes, but we've got to... Then, uh, say stop that bad darn pound in a minute, will you, till I answer this plaguey phone. Him. Hello? Oh, say, where in time nation you been, Hector? Well, you better get over here right off. Oh, gosh almighty. Yeah, what's the matter? Well, now, listen, Hector. I'll send Deb over with the money right away. Yes, and then you skin over here as fast as you can. All right. Uh, what money are you talking about? Oh, shucks. Hector's in a mess again. The hotel has took his clothes because he's behind in his room rent, and he can't get out. Took his clothes, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. <laughs> well, good nothing. We got a loan on the money to, uh, to get out. Wonder how much we got here in the field. Say, uh, uh, wait a minute here. Hold on now. Uh, hold on. We ain't putting out no money for Hector's room rent. You know oh, it. Oh, we'll get it back. He's going to get a thousand dollars for going up in that airplane, he? Here, here's that twenty-dollar bill Major Barnes asked to change the other day. Take it over and give it to Hector and tell him. Why to... don't you take it over? I got to stay here and finish up this airplane. I'll take it and go on. Go on. We ain't got no time to lose. Oh, dang that! And, and here, while you're out, get a couple of ducks. Uh, guess what? A couple of ducks for the airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. There's a fashion with cleats and the... oh yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, that phone in here. Hello? Yes, this is Deb Winterbottom. Oh, howdy, Major Barnes. Yes, your suitcase is still here. It's right behind the counter where you left it. Yes, certainly we'll bring it over to you, Major. Yes, we'll be over about half past one. We're coming with Hector. Yes. Uh, say, Major, why don't you let Hector out of going up in that airplane? He can't. Uh, uh, hello? 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 Uh, I reckon it's just no use. Well, uh, I hope is that we can teach Hector how to fly before 2 o'clock, that's all. Let's see now. Uh, oh, um, howdy, Mr. Bush. Hello, Mr. Winterbottom. I just going by and thought I'd drop in and see how Mr. Peter's knee was. Sort of complain about the last time I see him. Well, it ain't so good. In fact, it's worse, I'd say. Worse? Well, I didn't that medicine I told him about uh, helping any? 
Nope. Nope, he got two more ailments just from reading the symptoms on the wrapper. Well, say, you know what I think uh, about what's the matter with him? It's just the infirmities of age creeping on him. Why, <clears throat> why Mr. Bush, I ain't got nothing creeping on him. No, no, you don't get me. I mean, he's getting old. That's why he's got a bum me. I don't see how you figure that. His other knee's all right, and it's just as old as a bum one. Well, we ain't tarnations the rest of them tacks. Say, what are you making? They're making airplanes. An airplane? Well, what do you know? Say, where's the rooter? And the what? The rooter. That's what you steer by. You've got to have a rooter on it. You do, then. Well, I reckon I can put one on. Hey, ding there, Benny. What do you do? Eat them tacks or what? Ain't, uh, ain't them uh, right there behind you there? Oh, yes, yes. That is them. Well, uh, tell Mr. Peters I call, won't you? I'll be seeing you again next time I drive by. Yes, yes, I'll do that, Mr. Bush. So long. Bye. Now, let's see here what comes next. Dang it. Where'd I leave off in this darn book? Can't read directions and... Oh, yes, yes. Fashion with creeps and... Mm-hmm. Gosh, 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 I thought I never was going to get here. Mm-hmm. Say, uh, say, is the airplane done? Is the airplane finished so I can take a flying lesson? Yeah, yeah, no, I got just to wait a second, wait a second, don't get excited. What is the matter over there at the hotel, anyhow? Taking your clothes away from it just because you was a mite behind your room rent. Oh, shoot, uh, shoot. The manager always gets a grouch on when his wooden leg starts hurting him. And so when his was... wooden leg starts hurting him? Yes, yes. And it hurt him awful last night. Oh, gosh, gosh sakes. He was just groaning with pain. And now, uh, hold on there, Hector. None of your darn fool stories. How could the manager's wooden leg hurt him? Uh, yes, yes, that's what I say. Uh, yes. And so... so well, he I took said, off. hold on. I asked you how his wooden leg could hurt him. Oh, uh, how his wooden leg could hurt him. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I see. Uh... Well, uh, 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 his wife hit him over the head with it. You <laughs> say, you'd better not be smart alecking around here, young fella. This might be your last day on earth. If you fall out of that there airplane this afternoon. Oh, shoot, uh, shoot. What's a little fall out of the airplane? My cousin fell out of the airplane once. Fell, uh, fell 10,000 feet. It didn't hurt him at all. Didn't hurt him? Why, it must have killed him. No, no, it didn't hurt him at all. Because, uh, uh, because he landed a barrel of lemonade. Landed in a barrel of lemonade. What's that got to do with it? Well, uh, well, uh, don't you see? Uh, he lit in a soft drink. Oh, that'll do, Hector Smith. You grab that hammer there and start tacking on that canvas. Oh, um, you see, uh, what's a rooter? A rooter? Yeah. Uh, uh, a rooter. Uh, a rooter is a fellow that hollers at a football game. Why? Because we've got to get one and put him on the airplane. Uh, yes, but, uh, say, uh, say, we haven't time to be uh, fooling around with rooters. Uh, we've got to get this plane finished so I can take a lesson. Why, it's only four hours until I go up uh, at the air circuit. Well, and you like I tell you, take that cleat there and fasten that canvas down. Oh, shoot. You see, I, I'm not supposed to make airplanes. I'm just supposed to fly in them. Now, go ahead and do like I tell you. Nail, uh, nail down that cleat there. Oh, uh, shoot. The luck. Uh, let's see here what comes next. Fashion with cleats and give a coat of shellac. Well, I reckon we can do without shellac. And see, you will now have a perfect device for putting over drying prunes and apricots to pr- protect them from flies. What? Protect prunes and apricots from flies? Ah, oh, that darn it. Say, say, what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, land of Goshen, Hector, it's all off. It's all off. We can't learn you how to fly. We... We built the wrong thing. Oh, during this book. Built the wrong thing? Yeah. I say, I say, what, what is that book you got there anyhow? What is it? Well, it's supposed to be a book about how to fly, but... Let's you... see it. Let's see it. Yeah, here. Uh, how to fly? Yeah. Let's see it. How to fly? Why, the name of this uh, doggone book is, uh, is The American Fly Problem. Oh, gosh. Yes, gosh. but, but uh, don't you... Uh, well, I can't... Uh, don't you see it? Uh... Hey, Zeb, uh, I couldn't find no duck. But, uh, here's some chicken. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, sake, gosh almighty. You have a man left to the grand right and left. The right and left around the ring walk on the heel and toe. Just side of what you lady fair and I'll promenade her around the square. Promenade that mountain, promenade. Now the head 
come on forward, you come back to the ring. You pass through and separate around the outside ring. Come back home and go to the door, to your corner, Alan and Lua. Come back to your partner, you swing them round and round. Alan and left on the corner, now you walk right by your own. You swing the right and left.